All right, I'm trying a different filming location. I don't know if this will work, but this is my saddle pad collection for jumping and all-purpose saddles. And I'm going to start with my square saddle pads. So this is a classic two Toklat Originals. It has the girth loop and the billet loop in the front, and it's green with the tan piping. Toklat are great pads. They wear very, very well. This is quite old. It's stained. Could not get this out. Um, but it still looks great. It, it does a great job. And it, yeah, not much more to be said. It's still doing a great job. So this is my second saddle pod. This is the Waffle Weave PRI, which is Pacific Rim International saddle pad. It's supposed to help with breathability. It also has the billet loop as well as the girth loop. And it is green with navy trim. This washes really well. It's just not quite as thick as the toe clot pad. Uh, and it's shorter in the drop. So this is the drop from the spine to the bottom. So if you have a smaller horse, it will fit them better. This is a medallion toe clot pad. Get in here. Ah, there we go. And <clears throat> it's a very breathable fleece. It's black. It has a girth loop as well as a billet. This goes under the flap. And what makes this pad unique is up in front, it's Velcro. That's where the pommel is, right over here. This opens up and you can put any type of therapeutic half pad inside it. So you don't have to worry about all the pads twisting. It's, it's contained. So if you have a gel pad, it can go right in that area. This is quite large. I got this one, goodness, on sale, I believe for $10. So it's a great deal. I think they normally retail for about 60. So I have some older white fleece uh, jumping pads that were used for show at one point, but they're stained, so it they now are like everyday pads. This is uh, again another toe clot. This is quite old. I got this for free. Someone was clearing out their tack room, and it's just held up really well. This has the wool back on it. So it's cream on the other side, and it's still in fantastic shape. Uh, like most fleece pads, it has both the girth loop and then the large loop that goes under the flap. If you have a mono flap saddle, this would not work, but um, this would just have to go under it. It wouldn't go around uh, around the billets, but it would still, it, you know, you could probably make it work. And that was free. This is another old white fitted pad. Still in decent shape, so I use this for every day, you know, like a Wintech pad, so, excuse me, Wintech saddle. And this is, it's not very pretty anymore, but it does a, it's still a great pad. Okay, this is a fleece works pad. This is the sheepskin. I got this for $10. They retail for close to 200 I think, now. Uh... This was washed incorrectly. Make sure when you have sheepskin, you use only sheepskin leather wash, and then you dry it flat, air dry only, because otherwise it, it does what happened to this pad. It gets kind of, it shrinks, the skin itself shrinks. So um, I have rewashed it and it's okay, and I'll use it for shows. Um, I have one saddle that fits with it really well, but I'm not doing a hunter show anytime soon. But the underside looks like this. And with these pads, most of the time you just want to brush off the fleece. You use a stiff brush or a dog hair brush, and um, you don't want to wash it too often. And again, if you do wash it, 
only use leather wash and air dry only. Make sure it's flat. So that's that's that saddle pad. <clears throat> this is a horseman's dream half pad. It was an early demo. Um, I worked at a tax store for seven odd years, so I have gotten a few samples and early demo versions of certain pads. <clears throat> Again, it's sheepskin, so you want to make certain if you wash it, you only use a leather wash. And you can use this as a half pad on top of a square pad, or you can use it directly against the horse. Uh, you see that, I've seen that in some Morgan shows and some other types of shows as well. Um, sheepskin is fantastic for support and dissipating heat, but it just requires a little extra care. Okay, this is my my white show pad for hunter jumper shows. My shadow's in the way. Again, it's a toklot pad. I've only used it twice. Um, but Toklot really makes the nicest hunter pads. And it's the synthetic fleece and underneath. It has this no slip material. They don't all come like this. This is a special order. And then they're about 60 or 70 now, I think. Um, my horse is so round. I need something to keep the saddle from shifting side to side. My saddle does fit correctly, but we do get side to side slippage and this helps. So on that note, thank you for watching. And also you, if you're really interested, you can check out my videos on my dressage pads or my half pads. And if you have any questions about any of this, please comment and I will go into further detail. Thank you.